Hi everyone, New Sensei here, back with another short video on shooting technique. One of the things which people often get into debates about is the idea of using two fingers or three fingers. Now, when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the Mediterranean draw, the most common draw used in Western archery, where you have your fingers on the string. Now, most archery you will see people do, either in real life or on TV, will have three finger draws like this. But you will find many people who grew up with or see other people shoot exclusively with only two fingers. So what's the difference and why do people choose one over the other? I want to firstly clarify immediately that both the two finger and three finger draws are the same technique. They're both Mediterranean draws. So functionally, they're the same. You put your fingers on the string, roughly on the first joint, and you pull the string like this with three fingers or with two fingers. Again, same thing. And to illustrate how these may be the same, let's shoot a few arrows. So, mostly speaking, a two-finger draw should expect the same kind of performance and behavior as a three-finger draw. Same draw, same aiming method, same anchor points. You should be able to switch between two and three fingers without any problem. So, why do people make this distinction? Well, there are many historical sources which illustrate the two-finger draw, and in fact, there are modern finger taps designed for a two-finger draw. The vast majority of archers shooting Mediterranean draw will use three fingers. I think that divide will be split along two lines. The first is preference. Whether you prefer the control and stability of a three finger draw, where having the weight spread across three fingers makes it easy to pull back, or whether you prefer the faster, cleaner release of a two finger draw. The second part is whether you were taught archery or trained in archery formally compared to being self-taught and self-trained. I make this latter distinction because most people I've seen who shoot with two fingers are not formally trained or competitive archers. So they've likely picked up from their uh, friends or family or they've taught themselves to shoot with two fingers. They might have seen someone shoot two fingers and emulated that. And because it works fine, then they'll use that method. And definitely, like I said before, there are people who can shoot proficiently with just two fingers. To address the point about the faster release, this may be a bit of a placebo effect where people will feel like it's coming out cleaner and faster just because there are fewer fingers. The idea actually makes some sense. If you have three fingers, it might be more difficult to achieve a clean release if all three fingers coming off at the same time, or two fingers is, well, there's less fingers, which means you only have to release two fingers at once. And many people will say that it comes up faster, uh, maybe because there's just less contact, therefore, zoom, it goes forward quicker. Um, I don't think there's really a substantial difference but what will make a huge difference is how much control you have, especially over a larger draw weight. Speaking of which, this particular bow I'm holding is only about 25 pounds of my draw, so let's swap out to a heavier bow. So this bow is around 40, 41 pounds of my draw length. Let's see how much control I have on this shot process. Oh, you can definitely feel a difference going from three to two. Let's try that one again with more control. And I can definitely see why people say they feel a cleaner release. And with enough practice, you get used to uh, the weight on two fingers and you should shoot okay.
So yeah, you can definitely shoot okay once you have that weight under control and two fingers does feel faster. Now whether it actually is faster and cleaner, I think that's really subjective. I think what it really comes down to is what you need to shoot archery for um, and how much practice and experience you have for your particular method. All right, and now we're gonna alternate between two and three to see if there is a difference, at least to me. Again, I'm just one person shooting a few arrows, your mileage will vary. So we'll start with two fingers. Okay, clean the middle, I think I'm at my reference point. And three fingers. Oh, that's much easier. Don't give the arrow lands, but that extra finger pulling back on the string makes a huge difference. All right, let's uh, stick with the aim point and see if we can get some consistency. So, two fingers. And now let's shoot three. That's right in the middle. And look, at 10 meters, there's no discernible difference. They're all going where I want them to go. What is a difference is what I feel more comfortable with. I think there is a legitimate reason why the three finger method is universally taught, whether it's trad or modern recurve. It offers the most balance between the control of the weight and the cleanliness of the release. That third finger on the string does make a very big difference to how much weight you feel on each finger. It might not be a lot, but it does spread that weight out. And for most people, they'll probably find it much simpler to shoot with three fingers on the string. That said, some people will always prefer to shoot with two and they'll say, look, it works fine for me and you're not wrong either. So understand that's probably why three finger Mediterranean is the most common method, but two fingers can be used. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and helpful. This is New Sensei. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.